Hi cousins, it's Kemi and welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to test out a new Makeup Forever HD foundation with a bunch of new products as well. Obviously, this is the outcome of me testing out the foundation. You guys will be surprised how we got here. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this video. Hello! I'm giving cutesy vibes today. Yes, no? Yes, keep it to yourself if you disagree with me. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cousins. How are you guys doing? I need to stay hydrated because my skin's going through a lot, but it's okay. So the focus of today's video is gonna be the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation that they just came out with. However, I do have some new skin products that I also wanna try out as well. So I thought instead of making a separate video, I might as well just incorporate into this video. So then that way I don't have to like make a separate video and just keep dragging it out. So that is what we're gonna be doing. And that way you guys can see the products as well and see how well they work together because majority of the time I do mix and match products from different brands on my face so you feel me like always I have gone in and done my brows off camera and I've done my skincare as well the only thing I added was this moisturizer from Embrelease I just replaced my moisturizer with this one and that is the steps that I have on my face right now so firstly we're gonna start off with primer I'm gonna be using this YSL touch eclair blur primer this actually got sent to me as a free gift on feel unique because i bought a perfume from them and i was like oh okay don't mind if i do so i'm just gonna apply this on it's a blurring and illuminating primer that maximizes skin radiance that is the claim on the primer i don't know how much the full size of this primer will be because like i said it did get sent to me as a free gift. This feels very, very lightweight and it's like very silicone-y. Like it's literally just gliding on. Like do you guys see that? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like it's just glazing off my skin. Like it's not really like working into my skin or anything. It's a blur and primer so it's meant to blur my skin. So I'm gonna let that like sit for a minute. I don't know if you guys are wondering what that thing is right here. My necklace is reflected onto my chin. So I've allowed the primer to dry down. It's not as gliding as it was before. So I think the primer has worked and like sunk into my skin. And I'm seeing the blurring claims of the primer. Okay. Next I'm going to be using this Makeup Revolution Super Dewy setting spray. You guys saw that I wanted to try this out last week but I didn't get a chance to. Chance. Okay. If you're looking for that dewy, wet look, get anything from this line and you will love it. Like, absolutely love it. I haven't tried this out, but I'm hoping that it's the exact same thing as the rest of the products in the collection. But let's go in and try this out. Mm, this smells really nice. I personally don't like how it's sheeting out, but I do like the scent of it. Hopefully it works well as well. I was hoping it'll be more of like, you know, the Morphe Container Setting Mist. That's like the fills I thought was gonna be, but it's not, but it's fine. By the way, if you guys are on a hunt for a really nice lip balm, the Skin Proud Everything Balm is absolutely stunning. It's what I have on my lips right now. It's not too glossy. It has a scent and a taste to it. So if you're on a hunt for a really good lip balm, that's one for you guys to try out. So like I mentioned, this is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. This comes in 40 different shades. It retails for £35 on Feel Unique's website. That is where I purchased mine from. The claim on this foundation is that it blurs and covers in perfection for 24 hours, powered by a micro skin system that syncs with the complexion of tree to skin finish. It has a natural finish, very comfortable and easy to apply. It is a medium to full coverage, natural foundation flexes with skin for no cakey or setting into fine lines. That's a big statement, but okay. It is waterproof and sweat proof as well. The HD skin is vegan, non, I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> um, waterproof and sweat proof and come in more sustainable packaging. Okay, so that is the claim on the foundation. So it's sounding like it's like the best thing. It's claimed to be good for the environment, good for your skin. You can wear it for 24 hours. I personally wouldn't recommend wearing your foundation for 24 hours, but each to their own. I got the shade 4N74Y545. That is a lot of letters and a lot of numbers. I'll put it down below for you guys. This is my shade if you want to take a screenshot. 
this is what it looks like. I absolutely do love the packaging. I think it's stunning. I love the lid as well. Didn't it be an exclusive? Okay, we like that. Like, yes, 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 yes. I'm really praying that this is my shade um, because I just got one shade because I thought this would be a good match for me. I'm not gonna go in and cover up any blemishes on my face because it's claiming to be a medium to full coverage. So we wanna see how well it covers. Let's grab some pumps out. So I'm just gonna... Oh, that's looking very promising. I must say that looks pretty good. I can't lie. Baby, okay. I'm gonna be grabbing my flat Morphe Kabuki brush and I'm just gonna start blending that into my skin. Well, that's a good match. That's a good match for your girl, okay. I feel like the undertone is a little bit off on me. I can smell a scent that smells really nice. I don't know if it's the setting spray. This one has a really nice scent to it or the foundation. I don't know, but whatever it is, it smells really nice. I'm gonna add one more pump on my face. All right, so now that I have the foundation fully on my skin, I will say that I got the wrong shade. It's just my luck. I really need to stop picking foundations online because I never seem to get it right. Like this is actually starting to bug me now. The finish of the foundation is beautiful, but you can't really enjoy it because I've got the wrong shade. I feel like the foundation is my shade, but the undertone of it is what's like throwing me off. Like the undertone on this foundation is not that. It's not warm. It's very much olive greeny vibes do you see what i mean or am i just like chatting nonsense like it's in my head anyway let's finish off the face and then we can come back and see how we're looking like at the end so next i have got the kvd good apple lightweight full coverage concealer i got the shade tan 117 i'm gonna apply this on oh that is a good shade I did this my first time using this product as well. Again, I purchased this from Feel Unique as well. I'm just gonna use this to highlight. The shade is actually looking quite light due to my foundation, but it is a really good match. It glides on really well, and I absolutely love this applicator. That applicator is, is so soft on the skin. I'm sure you guys already tried out this concealer already. I'm just finally trying it out now. Um, this retails, by the way, for £23, and on Feel Unique's website, they have 28 shades. I don't know if that's like the whole shade range, but on Feel Unique right now, they have 28 shades on there. Um, I'm just gonna go in now and just start blending this out. Oh, that blended out really nicely. Cousin, I feel like this concealer might have turned it around for us because she is gorgeous. Oh, I really like this concealer. Oh, wow. I'm surprised because the good apple foundation, I didn't really like it as much just because it's a bit too oily for me like it's very much grease but the concealer is given you know what i'm gonna give the kvd good apple foundation another try i remember the last time i used it i thought it was a bit too dark for me this is in a shade deep 088 i'm gonna use this to like bronze up my face and i'm using my mima 11 brush by the way this was my morphe sponge that i used to blend out my concealer if any of you guys were wondering okay so the next one i'll be using is my makeup revolution super do it liquid blush in the shade flushing for you this is not new on my channel is this is the shade i use I feel like i was getting mixed up with another shade i'm gonna add a little bit of the she glam swipe right blush as well I'm just gonna add a tad bit more of the Good Apple Concealer right underneath my eyes. So like this on my under eye, I'm gonna go with this e.l.f. Skin Tint Finishing Powder in the shade Medium Dark. We're gonna go into bit with this two mixture right here, the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Blondie and my RCMA No Color Powder. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit at the back of my Morphe sponge, top up some excess and just go in to set. 
We're going to be using the Morphe Filter Effects Press Powder in the shade Filter 11 to set the rest of our face. I will be going heavy on my contour today because you can see my face looking quite flat. So to do that, I'm going to get my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 495. Mine is a little bit broken, but this shade is honestly stunning and the undertone of it is quite warm. And on top of that, I'm going to go in my Morphe Face Palette. This is in the shade 8D Deep Glam. And then using a Morphe E4 brush, I'm going to grab the shade that says Bronzer. There's two shades right here. I'm just going to put that on top. Because I'm not really going to be focusing on eyeshadow today, I'm just going to pop on a bronzer all over my eyelid. Probably the same bronzers from the Morphe Palette. I'm just going to grab them and just work that to right onto my lid. So now I'm going to grab my Morphe M501 brush and I'm just going to use this to dust off the next part of my face. I'm going to go back in with my Super Dewy setting spray. Okay, so Next Benefit has come up with a new liquid eyeliner. They were actually kind enough to send me their new, their real extreme precise liner. It looks like this. I got the shade black and brown. They claim to last for 12 hours. They are waterproof and they are smudge proof as well. It is a glide on sleek ultra pigmented liner. The one thing I personally don't like about eyeliner pens is that they dry up really quickly. You can't do like a nice wing with them because they're always like drying out like midway through and then they look a little bit gray however this one actually doesn't do that it's a true black eyeliner um i have used it before that's why i can testify to it for mascara we're gonna be using the maybelline curl bounce mascara i've actually been enjoying this mascara as of late not that I wear my eyelashes by itself, but I like the way like it grips onto my eyelashes. For my waterline, we're gonna be using the YSL Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade one. Next, we're just gonna add some blush to the skin and I'm gonna be using this ColourPop Pressed Powder Blush in the shade Retro. I believe it's part of a new collection that it just came out with as well. They did send this to me as well, say so thank you Colourpop. This shade you guys can't really see it on camera, but it's honestly so, so gorgeous. I'm just gonna apply that onto my cheeks. And then just to close off this look, I'm gonna be using this lip duo from Colourpop as well. This comes in a lipstick and a lip liner form like this. Obviously I'm not gonna be using the lip liner, I'll be using the lipstick side which is in the shade Parker. I'm just gonna use this in the center of my lips. These are so creamy. I'm gonna top it off with my L'Oreal Glam Shine Lip Brilliant Gloss in the shade 103 Forever Nude. cousins so we have come to the end of today's testing video what do you guys think about the makeup forever hd foundation if i'm being honest i actually like the foundation that like the foundation looks beautiful on i just feel like i picked out the wrong shade but i also feel like this shade actually does work for me at the same time which is a little bit strange because i feel like once i highlighted and contoured and done everything else it doesn't look bad right call me crazy but i genuinely don't feel like it looks bad right now i actually feel like it looks stunning i genuinely feel like the shade was my shade but the undertone of it was just a little bit off it was a little bit like too olivey green for me but i feel like with the other products that i used i feel like it has helped you know balanced out the foundation it looks pretty good and given the fact that this is a really dewy setting spray like if you're a dry skin babe you will absolutely love this because this gives do so the fact that my face actually doesn't look overly dewy i have to give it to the foundation i am going to be taking some flash photography as well i do use an iphone 11 don't kill me i do use an iphone 11 pro i'm gonna get a new phone soon inshallah i would definitely be wearing this foundation again am i going when i get the time to um pick up another shade i don't want to do it online because i don't want to like waste money when i get a chance to get into boots or selfridges i will try to pick up another shade of this foundation because i actually really like the finish of it another product that i'm really really impressed by is their kvd good apple concealer 
honestly stunning i love this shade this is actually going into my everyday makeup drawer the consistency of it is very creamy yet lightweight like it claims and the coverage is really good i wouldn't say it's full coverage i would definitely say it's a medium coverage but nonetheless it's still a good coverage that i like um i love the wand of this as well very innovative the primer is actually holding on well as well and like none of the products are separated on my face which i like in terms of the foundation not sticking to my smart lines it has not yet but then again i just finished doing my makeup so if it's going into my fine lines now i'll be worried but i don't see it going into my smart lines i think that is pretty much all that i need to say in today's video thank you cousins so much for watching i love you guys so bloody much please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you actually like this video and you found this video helpful comment down below what you think about my overall face right now do you like the foundation have you tried it out what do you think let's have a little conversation down below subscribe if you're new to the channel we would love to welcome you into the cousin family thank you cousins so much for watching i love and appreciate you guys so much and inshallah i'll catch you guys in my next video bye cousins oh and let me know any other products you guys want me to try out as well let me know down below and i'll try to purchase that for you guys and get the video out as soon as possible but just bear in mind that i do work <laughs> and editing takes a while for me to do so have that in mind so let me know so the quicker you let me know what products you want the quicker i can get it out for you inshallah thank you cousins so much for watching i love you guys so much and inshallah i'll catch you guys in my next video bye cousins Mwah.